was walking through Jackson Bottom when I noticed this table. Believe it or not, two months ago, this table was mostly underwater. Right here, you can see the water. You can see where it definitely was coming up this hill, covering all of these trails. Water is definitely something that makes me wonder. If you look up right now, you can see that the sky is gray and it is in fact raining, even though you probably can't tell. So after observing the gray cloudy skies, the rain coming down almost every day, and the water levels lowering at Jackson Bottom, it makes me ask all sorts of questions about water. Things like, where does the rain come from? Why do the water levels lower? Is it different in the spring, the winter, the fall? All of this was underwater as well. People could come from up here to see just how high the water levels have gotten. And now, we can walk back here and see that the water has lowered all the way to over here. Wondering is the scientist's next step after observing. After I see something, like the cloudy skies, the next step is to ask the question, why are the skies cloudy? How does that connect to how it's raining? Here you can observe some of the water levels from the fall and winter at Jackson Bottom. If you went today, you would see that the water is much lower than this. If you knew something about wetlands, you might have known that in the fall and winter they began to fill up with snow and rainwater, and then in the spring and summer they began to dry out. If you didn't know that, that's fine too. All we're doing today is the step after observation, which is asking questions or wondering. After that, you can start interpreting your observations that you've made before. These are the steps that scientists take to learn new things.